hi all welcome to my channel easy learning today we are going to see how do we read input file using ab initio okay so for that we have a component called input file into data set folder into component library we'll pull this component for reading a file we should have a physical file present on our desk so for that purpose we have created input files into our t drive source file folder so let's see how do we read this file so if you see this tdp customer file has multiple records with four columns defined into it and the columns are separated by comma so for reading this input file using a input file component in ab initio we'll have to configure some parameters so let's see what are the parameters that we configure and how do we do it double click on the component and you will see yellow parameter that means this is a mandatory parameter to be filled okay so we'll browse our input file first url is the physical file location so let's go and browse the file i have selected this file now we'll go to ports and into ports tab we'll write the dml DML is the data manipulation language or the metadata for reading this particular file. So once we click edit, we'll be getting a block with record in end and into this block we'll write our record format. So for this file, we have our record format as first column is ID, second column is name, third column is department ID and fourth column is salary. Okay. So for writing a record format, we'll first write our data type and into brackets we'll write our delimiter. So we have a comma separated file and say the column name. Then we have string employee name. Then we have type decimal for department ID so I have kept last columns delimiter as slash r slash n since after this column our record will end and new record will start we will validate our record format record format is ok click apply and ok and our input file is ready for use so now right click on it view data click ok so there are multiple modes to view our data first is grid mode that means we will get data into tabular format formatted text that means it will show the name of every column and the particular record with respect to that column unformatted way will be the same as we are seeing into our notepad file so we'll view our data into grid mode so as per our definition we are getting four columns employee id employee name department id and salary let it load the data
so we had five records into our file which were into unformatted manner and now we have our data ready into input file component with the column name and values with respect to that column Thank you.